Hi there, you guys. I'm Teddy with this beautiful seed beads bracelet. Another seed beads project. Now I'm making this from two type of elements that are really similar. I will show you really easy step by step how I'm making those elements and how I connect them in a bracelet. So I'm sure you will be able to make it if you like it, of course. So uh, if you want to see more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also like, share and comment. And I promise I'll answer to all of you that comment and have any questions. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Now I have such an element in green. So if you like what I'm showing you, follow me and I will continue with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this project what I'm going to use are four colors of 11 o seed beads and I'm going to use size 10 beading needle, monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. I'm using scissors. Here I'm using a clasp that is lobster's claw. You could use other type of clasp if you want and I'm using flat nose pliers to attach my jump ring and to squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle and if you use flat beading thread you won't need to squeeze your thread and I will put about two feet of thread on my needle which is 60 centimeters and I'll be back to show you the project. Okay guys and now I have about two feet of thread on my needle and I'm going to start by taking 12 blue beads. Okay and I have my 12 here and I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat. Okay and I want to make a knot here and I'm making a knot by First making a loop and I'm going twice with my tra tail thread through the loop I've made. Then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I'm pulling and when I pull I have this beautiful circle of beads. And now what I want to do is go through some beads and I will start my next row. And for my next row I need three blue beads. And I'm, as I'm exiting from this blue bead I'm going back in circle through the same bead here. And I'm pulling. Now what I want to do is go through the next blue bead. Then I need two more blue beads and I'm going back through one of my previous blue beads that I added just like that through this one. Okay. Then what I want to do is go through my next blue bead. Then I'm going to take two more blue beads and I'm going back through these two beads and through the following blue. Okay. Then I will repeat these two beads going back through my previous one and through the next blue. And I will continue this and when I'm up to here, I will continue this the same way and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm up to here where I should add my last beads. Okay, I just added these two beads here. And here you see my first and my last element uh, are next to each other and here I was adding two beads all the time. And here at my last step, I need to add only one bead here. And this way I will finish my row. Okay. 
this is what I have now and I will go through this blue bead here and then I want to exit here at my third row and now guys here I will start adding yellow beads okay I'm taking one yellow and I'm going through the following this row is really easy and then I take one more go through the following then one more bead going through the following and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and I'm just adding my last bead from this row I'm pulling and now I'm going to start adding blue beads I have three blue beads and as I'm exiting from this blue one I'm going through this blue and through the following yellow and my goal is to exit out of my next blue one just like that then I need three more blue beads I'm going back through this blue one and through the following yellow and then through the next blue okay and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row and I'll be back to show you how to make your knots okay guys and now I'm just adding my last beads here in circle and now I want to make a knot and in order to make a knot by the way you could go one more time around the edge of these beads and make them stay straight but now I won't show you this I will make the knot okay I'm making a knot by making a loop between two beads and going once then going second time through the loop I've made and pulling and I'm going to repeat this several more times and when I'm ready I will cut my thread okay guys and now I'm going to show you how to make your next element and for your next element you will need 12 yellow beads okay and I have my 12 here 12 beads and I'm going to slide them down and it's really similar to what I did but I just changed the colors if and finish it a little bit different and I'm making a loop the same way I showed you uh, the a knot sorry and I'm making a loop first and then I'm going twice through the loop I've made then what I want to do is to be to make sure that my thread is between those two beads where I started my knot from and after that I'm going to pull okay just like that now guys it's almost the same just the colors are different as I told you so now what I want to do is take three of these beautiful pink beads and I'm going back in circle through them through the yellow one sorry then what I need are two of these beautiful pink uh, sorry blue beads and I'm going back through this pink and through the yellow and through the following yellow as well okay and what I need in my next step is pink and blue here is what I have and I'm going through this one and then through the next two yellows okay 
I'm doing the same thing but just changing the colors and now I need two pink beads and go into the pink. And through the following two yellows. Then I need two blue beads. And I'm going through the pink one and through the following two yellows. And then what I need is a pink and a blue one. Okay, this is what I have. Here is what I have and I'm going to the next two yellows, pulling a little bit. This is what I have and then I need two pink beads and I'm going to the pink and the two yellows, just like that. And in my next step, I need a blue, two blue beads, sorry. Going to the pink and through the following two yellows. And I need a pink and a blue. Here is what I have. And I'm going to the next two yellow beads. Then again two pink beads going through the pink and through the following two yellows and then I need two blue beads and I'm going through this yellow Then I want to go to the next yellow and here I won't add pink and yellow because I have pink, one pink from my first three beads that I added and I'm going to go through it without adding a new one because it's already there and then I will take one more blue bead and I will go through this blue and through the yellow that's down there and I'm pulling and with this one I'm finishing this row now what I want to do is go through this pink bead and exit in my next row exit here and then I need a yellow bead and I'm going through the blue one and here's where I need the white bead okay and I'm going through the blue one between the blue beads I will add a white one which is the center of my flower and the blue beads are the petals and everywhere around I will add my background color which is yellow so yellow then again yellows around the pink bead and white inside the blue bead and this is what I do until the end of this row yellow around the pink one yellow then one more yellow white between the blue beads the center of my flower then again yellow and one more yellow one white between the blue and then again 
one yellow. Okay, this is what I have now, until now. Okay, and now as I'm exiting from this pink bead, I need three yellow beads. And I'm going through this back in circle. And what I have is this one. This time I'm skipping the next one and going out of this blue one. And here what I need is blue and two yellows. Okay, this is what I have. And I'm going back through this blue one. Okay. Then I'm exiting out of my next blue bead. And what I need here are two yellows and a blue one. Going back in circle through this one here and through the following. Okay. Now I'm going through this pink one here. And what I need are three yellows. And I have three yellows and I'm going back in circle through this pink one and going out of the next one. Okay, now I will form my next flower. And in order to do this, I'm going through this blue one and taking one blue bead and two yellow beads. This is what I have. And I'm going back here through this blue one. Now this is what I have. Then I'm going through these two beads here. And now I need two yellows and one blue. And I'm going back through this blue one. And now I have this cute flower. And I'm going here. I want to reach the pink one. And everywhere at the pinks I will add three yellows. Okay, I have my three here. And I'm going back in circle through the pink one. Then exit out of the next blue one. Then take blue and two yellows. Okay. And go back through the blue. And through the following. And my goal is to exit here out of my next blue one. And I need two yellows and one blue. This is what I have. And I'm going back through the blue. Back in circle and this is what I have. A cute flower. Then here at the pink. And here I need three yellows. Okay, and I'm going back in circle through this pink one and through the following yellow. Okay. Then go out of the blue. Take one blue and two yellows. Here is what I have. And go back through these two beads. Then through the next blue. Then two yellows and one pink. Okay. And I'm going back through this blue. 
and here is what I have now guys this is exactly like this element but here is another colorful pattern inside and now I will finish it a little bit different uh, in fact first I did this element and then I saw the pattern I saw the flowers inside and I did it in this way so now what I want to do is make the edge of this beautiful element so I'm going through all of those bits here just like that and I want to exit here at this yellow bit and what I want to do is add three yellow bits okay I have my tree here and I'm going through the following yellow then I will go through these two yellows I will go through all of those beads here in this direction and again I want to exit here at one of my flowers and here I need three yellows here are they and I'm going here through this yellow one okay guys and I'm going to repeat this two more times and then I'll be back to show you how to make your knots and finish your element okay guys and now I'm here and I just finished my last part and now I'm going to show you how to make some knots by the way you could go around the edges of your element one more time and then start making knots if you want to make it uh, more secure and I'm making a knot by going between two beads and making a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made then I make sure that my thread is between those two beads where I started my knot from and I'm pulling and I will continue doing this several more times and when i'm ready i will cut my thread okay guys and now i did more and more elements i like flipping the colors like here the flowers are pink and here are blue and you could vary and uh, you could make a necklace uh, if you want or you could make a bracelet like i'm going to show you now you could make earrings whatever you like so now i'm going to show you how to connect your bracelet take four feet of thread on your needle and we will start okay guys now I have 1.2 meter, meters of thread on my needle which is four feet of thread and I will connect my two elements first I will start by adding the clasp adding a new thread and then the clasp so here what I do is that I go through some beads and here I want to make a knot Oops, I will go through the next bead and then make a knot okay I'm making a knot by making a loop and going once and then going second time through the loop I've made and then I'm pulling and you could do several more knots Okay. and when you're ready you could cut your thread your tail thread I mean okay now here what I want to do is attach my ear wire and in order to attach it I will go here mm -hmm. 
through this blue bead at the edge and I want to take yellow beads I will take two yellows I will take my clasp and then again two yellows so this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back in circle through this one here and now this is what I have then I will go through this yellow take one more yellow and go through the following and through the clasp then I will take I will go to the next yellow Take one yellow and go through the following as well. And this way I'm forming cute little edges. And now I will go reinforcing this part several times. Okay. Okay, now I'm ready and my goal is to reach here, here at my next point, the opposite point. Okay, and as I'm here, I want to connect this one to my next element. And what I do here, I will connect it with pink beads. Okay, I'm taking one pink bead and as I'm exiting from here, I will go through the middle one of these three beads that I added here at the edge. Through the middle one, okay. Just like that. Okay, now this is what I have and I will take one more pink and I will go here through my other bead. Okay, then I will go one more time here around this joint and you could do several more times if you want. Okay, and when I connect this joint, I will add this one the same way I showed you here. And when I connect all of my, my elements, I'll be back to show you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and when I continued, I connected all of my elements. And I should warn you that if these beads move and bend like this, you should go one more time around the edges to straighten them up. Okay, and now I will show you how to finish your bracelet. Okay, now in order to finish it, I will take five of these beautiful pink beads. Okay, I have five here. And then I want to take my jump ring. If you don't want to squeeze it with pliers, this is another way to do this. Take your jump ring and go back through this blue one in circle now this is what i have and go three or four times reinforcing this joint here it should be really strong because it is at the edge and now i'm going to make a knot and my bracelet will be ready okay and I showed you several times before how I'm making a knot. 
I will make a knot here let's say here I will go between two beads make a loop and go once then go second time through the loop and pull okay pull and fix and then continue doing this continue doing this until you feel your work is secure and then cut your thread okay guys and now when i cut my thread my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also like share and comment and i promise i'll answer to all of you that comment and have any questions and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations thank you so much for watching bye bye from me